Welcome to the Booster Boy Perp Channel. Here, we talk about bitches, pussy, drugs, weed, liquor, everything. Just disgusting shit. Beautiful shit. Cute shit. Wonderful shit. Angry shit. All sorts of little shit things to talk about. So here we go. So, my story today is the time or the first time I ate an edible. And uh, this wasn't any regular edible. It was like, uh, it was the, the oil, like the weed butter. And I just decided, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to eat it. But All right, so this is how it happened. So, I start to start off, I was being a rebellious teenager, and I got in a fight with my parents, or my mom, and I was just like, fuck, man, like, I don't want to fucking, like, deal with this shit, so I was like, fuck it, I'm going to go to the cabin, and there's a cabin up in the woods uh, that uh, we... Or I would always go to. And I loved that cabin. I loved that cabin. It was out there. It was private. I would always go out there with my friends. I would live out in the country and shit. So it was cool as shit. You know? So I start packing my things. You know? I start packing my things. And and uh, I get everything necessary. Like the fucking, I don't know, knife, flashlight. I don't remember what the fuck I got. There was a whole bag I got. And then within those things, I had an edible it was one of my brother's edibles that he left around that time i think he was in prison uh, for things that i can't get into but anyways i started packing the things and i packed the edible and i decided fuck it let's set off and i set off on an adventure so i set off on this adventure and i'm just like fucking like angry teenage emotions and I'm just like acting like I'm Bear Grylls going through all these fucking bushes and shit and I'm like fuck man fuck all this shit fuck my life I'm going to live off the grid so uh finally you know I'm all, I almost get lost a couple of times you know and I get to a road and then I get to the dirt a dirt road and then I it leads all the way to the cabin I finally get to the fucking cabin so I just, uh, I set up camp. I set up camp and uh, I tried to start a fire. I was like, fuck, that. the fire isn't working. And uh, I start to like think, I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do here? I'm just bored as shit. Am I really going to fucking live out here? I start, you know, walking around being like, how am I going to hunt for animals? I'm just a stupid ass little teenager thinking I can fucking be out here and shit. So finally, I just sit down and just scrounge through all the shit that I brought with me and I find the edible so I look at the edible and it it's like a little peanut sized edible and and I'm just like hmm fuck it I'll just I'll take this edible right now I'll see what the fuck it does you know fuck it I want to get high right now fuck it so I take it so I take this edible and uh, I decide I was like I was just waiting for it to hit, to hit, to hit, and it's not hitting, so I'm just like, I get bored, so I'm just like, you know what, I'm just going to go take a nap in the cabin, so I go up this ladder, there's like a bed on, like a platform up on this area in the cabin, and I set off and go to sleep, so then I go to sleep, but then out of, out of nowhere, you know, I think I was dreaming. I don't know what the fuck was happening. But I wake up and I'm in the fucking magic school bus. Like, you know, the magic school bus, you know, like beep, beep, you know, all that bullshit. And I was like, whoa, I'm flying through the air. I was like, low key. I was like, wow, I'm fucking in space and shit. And I was so, so high. And then out of nowhere, I hear a voice. And I'm like, what 
what the fuck is that? And it's like, yo, yo. Actually, let me put, let me put an echo. Let me put an echo. Let me put an echo. <laughs> yo, 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 you're high, you're high, high, bitch. bitch. So I hear that, and I'm like, what the fuck? I can hear my voice. So again, the the voice starts speaking to me again. And I'm like, well, who the fuck is that? You need to you go need to get, get some get help, help, bro. bro. High, as High as hell. hell. And you out here yeah, in the woods. Here. What are you trying, trying to do out here? You trying, trying to fuck yourself, yourself here? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm hearing that voice clear as fucking day. And I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? So I decide to listen to the voice. Myself, basically. My conscious. Finally, I was just like, all right. I got to get somewhere. So I decide to climb down the ladder that I climbed up earlier. And that sounds easy enough, right? But I'm a goddamn zombie now zombified through the process of hyification, man. And I'm fucked up. So I'm like, fuck, how am I going to get down this goddamn fucking ladder? So I just decided to go down it backwards. And all I remember is I take a step on the first one, the second one, and then I slip, and then I'm on the floor. And I'm so high, I, I don't think I've heard anything. I I feel great. I feel great. I was like, okay, I didn't hurt myself. Great. I didn't land on a knife or an animal. Who knows? Whatever. And, you know, my dog's still up there. She's still asleep high as hell because I low-key shade her a little bit with her. And I was like, fuck. So it's still pitch black. And I look up and the cabin door is wide open. And I'm just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? It, why is it wide open? And I'm kind of scared at this point because it's like, what if there's something in here with me? But I'm too high to even care, so I just walk straight out of the open fucking wind, uh, open door, and I'm like, fuck it, let's go. So I set off, and I'm walking through the basically the dirt trail that led to the cabin. And I'm hearing shit in the bushes around me. I'm hearing shit like in the distance, like coyotes. I'm hearing like, uh, like, oh, like out in the distance. I'm like, oh, shit, man, that's that's fucked up. But I'm high right now and I need to get somewhere fast, you know. So on the property where the cabin is, there's a house and and I go up to that house and because it's the closest to where I could get some help or get something. I don't know what I was doing. I, I was just trying to be somewhere where I'd be safely high. So I get up to this house, and I knock on their bottom slide door. They have like a sliding door and a view of a field, and I'm knocking on there barely sluggish, like a zombie, just like, Ugh. Ooh, and I'm like, fuck. And, of course, nobody answers. I don't know what time it is. And I don't even think anybody was home, but nobody answered. And I was like, oh, shit. So now I need I needed another idea. I was like, oh, yeah, my friend lives down this gravel road at the end of the gravel road. So I'm like, I was like, well, that's like another like quarter mile. I was like, fuck it. So I'm walking down this gravel road. Like a zombie. Like literally I'm barely able to lift my legs to even walk in a proper way. Just fumbling down this goddamn driveway. And finally I get to I get to my friend's house. So I walk up to the front door. And then I'm just standing there and I'm just like, wait, what the fuck am I going to say? Why am I out here? Like, they're going to be like, oh, this nigga's high. And I don't want them to know I'm high. So I don't want them to know I'm high. So I'm just like, fuck, what should I say? So I decide to say, I want a glass of water. I was like, 
do you guys have some water? You know, I was like, oh, yeah. That's like the perfect reasonable thing to say. Like my high ass thinking like, yeah, it's whatever time of night. It's dark as shit. And I'm over here asking for a glass of water. So I'm just like, fuck it. I'm going to ask for a glass of water. And as I, I don't even know if I knocked or not. I think me stumbling onto the porch might have they might have, like, been alerted. They're like, oh, what the fuck? Who the hell's on the front porch? And then they opened the door. I'm like, oh. And they're like, hey, Guillermo, what are you doing out here? And I was just like, um, yeah, I was a glass of water. I'm barely able to pronounce the fucking sentence. I'm so goddamn high. And at that moment, I was just like, God damn it, they know I'm fucking high. What the fuck is wrong with me? I was like, I could barely move my mouth. That's how fucking high I was. But she understood what the fuck was wrong with me. I guess she was a sheriff before. And, and she was just like, come inside. Come inside. Sit down. So she sits me down. And she's like, hey, Guillermo, I'm going to call your mom so she can come pick you up. And I'm like, Fuck. Like, my mom's going to be pissed at me. Me as a rebellious teenager. It's like, I failed to fucking live off the grid. Now I need to go be a fucking edgy teenager again. So I was like, fuck, whatever. I'm high. So I'm just sitting there and I'm just like, man. And out of nowhere, my buddy, we'll call him Kobe, walks down the stairs and he sees me he's like what the fuck Emma? what the fuck are you doing here i'm like what I'm like oh what's some nigga what's going on and through his eyes he just sees his fucking friend and i don't know what time i think it was like 10 o'clock so it wasn't that late just high as shit on this couch and he's like what the fuck how this fucking kid get here but he's just like the best thing, because like, he was, like, pretty cool. He was just like, you know what, I'm going to get this nigga a bagel. So he's like, hey, Guillermo, you want a bagel? And I was just like, yeah, yeah, I'll get, I'll get a bagel, yeah. And he go gets me, uh, not a bagel, an Eggo waffle, chocolate chip. Fuck, oh, man, being high. And then being high with a chocolate chip Eggo. <laughs> Shit, man, what? What else can you can fucking ask for, man? So then he gives me this ego, and he's just looking at me. And he's just like, dude, your eyes are like barely open. <laughs> just like, yeah, I'm so fucking high right now. I'm like, not as high as I was in the cabin, but like still kind of like, whoa, man, I'm fucking high. He's just like, all right, bro, bro. good night, I'm going to go to bed, enjoy that echo. And I was like, yeah, I will, thank you, thank you so much. So I'm just savoring this echo, just tiny little bites at a time. Just, just eating the fuck out of this, this tiny or not tiny, but like this egg on. I'm like, oh. Then finally, uh, Kobe's mom was just like, hey, uh, your mom's here, so are you ready to go? I was just like, oh, shit. So I just, I put the egg in my jacket pocket. I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll just keep it for later. So finally, she helps me up, and then uh, I will drunkenly walk to my mom's van we had a little minivan and i they opened the slide door and i got in and i laid down in the back high as fuck but i was like you know what at least i'm safe now at least i'm safe so my mom is like yelling at me about some shit and then i'm like really not caring and and she's just like you know, we were really worried about you, this and that, but I'm like, because I'm so high, so I barely even fucking pay attention. So finally we get home, and I'm just like, fuck, all right. I get out, 
I walk straight to the house and inside the house and I I immediately crash on the couch. So I'm laying there just high as shit and I snuggle up and into a ball. I'm just like, oh, thank God. I'm fucking uh, here at the house. And, and I'm ch- trying to overhear if, or and see if my parents are actually mad. And, and they're just like, Talking about some some random shit, so I finally <sighs> breathe and I just snuggle up even more, and it's like, man. And I realize, like, fuck, I'm still fucking hungry. So I was like, man, I, I don't want to get up. And then I remembered, oh wait, I have a fucking ego in my pocket, so I just reach in my pocket. And there it is, the beautiful chocolate chip, half-eaten ego. And I continue eating the ego, tiny little pieces at a time. Yeah, and that's how it ended, you know. I really relate that story more towards a song I used to sing in kindergarten in elementary school. The, like, Rotten Peanut song, you know, where you're in the woods and the song's about like a kid that was in the woods and he ate a rotted of peanut and he and he died. I didn't die, but you know, it could have been my rotten peanut story and I could have died out there, you know, and I was like, Fuck. What am I gonna do out here? You know, this goddamn coyotes, cougars and fucking God knows what out here. So I was like, Fuck. So I was really lucky, you know, that the rotten peanut story wasn't about me, but uh but it was just like my edible story, you know. And uh, I'm just really grateful. Like I didn't really get fucked up out there. You know, when you're going to eat an edible, you got to be somewhere safe, you know. Not out in the fucking woods, like at a cabin. That'd be fucking crazy, huh? But yeah, that's uh, another story, you know, about weed, marijuana, you know. I might have another pussy uh pussy story another other day you know or maybe i'll have a story about you know being pussy whipped who knows i have more pussy whip stories because being pussy whipped is uh you know you i need to spare spread awareness about being pussy whipped that's something uh very dangerous it's like heroin but anyways if you really enjoyed this song please our uh, song our uh, video Leave a like, you know, hit that little ringy dingy and, uh, you know, have a good one.